be a good idea to start off the first episode by answering a really important question. What is a primate? Is a chimp a monkey? Are people monkeys? For something to be called a primate, it has to belong to the order primates. I should likely define order, too. But before I do that, we have to talk a little bit about taxonomy. Taxonomy is the science of classification. Literally, the word means the law or the science of order. The word taxonomy comes from the Greek roots taxis, which means order, and nomos, which means law or science. So, taxonomy is the science of putting things in order. Scientists put all different forms of life into different categories. They do this in order to understand how related one form of life is to another form of life. They also do it just so they can keep track of all the forms of life, because there's a lot of them, and it's easier to keep track of something when you've put it into some sort of order. There are eight main taxonomic ranks. The domain, the kingdom, the phylum, the class, the order, the family, and the genus and the species. Primates belong to the animal kingdom. I know, that was pretty obvious. Primates are also mammals, and that's a class. And lastly, as I said in the beginning of the video, they belong to the order primates. So, anything that belongs to the order primates is, well, a primate. Prosimians, monkeys, and apes all belong to the order primates. Lemurs, lorises, and galagos are all examples of prosimians. Prosimians are sort of like pre-monkeys. Now, if I started to list off examples of monkeys, <laughs> this video would likely be way too long. So, I'll just give examples of two really well-known types of monkeys. Baboons, which I'm sure you've all seen in a zoo or in a movie, and capuchins. Capuchins are known as the organ grinder monkeys. They used to sit next to organ grinders and hold out a little hat or grind the organ. There are four different types of apes. Chimpanzees, orangutans, gorillas, and humans. That's right, you're an ape and so am I. I've heard a lot of people refer to chimps and gorillas and orangutans as monkeys, but they're not monkeys. They're apes. So when you're referring to chimps or gorillas or orangutans, it's better to call them apes. Don't refer to them as monkeys, even though sometimes they sort of look like monkeys. Also, a lot of people don't realize that humans are a type of ape. That's because they don't realize how similar we are to them, in terms of our body and our DNA. Don't worry though, being an ape doesn't make you any less human, and it also doesn't make you a monkey, because monkeys and apes are different things. They're both primates, but they're different. Some people think that because chimps and humans are so similar, that humans evolved from chimps, but that just isn't true. Humans and chimps share a common ancestor on our evolutionary tree. So what happens is, if you have the common ancestor here, chimps went this way and we went this way. But we didn't evolve from the chimps. We evolved from this guy down here who doesn't exist anymore. The reason we're placed into the same family as apes and not a different, maybe more highly evolved family is because we still share a lot in common with chimps and gorillas and orangutans, especially chimps in terms of our DNA, our bone structure, and even our behavior sometimes. So, I'm a primate, you're a primate, chimps are primates, gorillas are primates, orangutans are primates, all sorts of monkeys, well, all monkeys are primates, and so are prosimians too. So, now you know what a primate is, and next time we'll be talking about specific types of primates, specific types of monkeys, apes, and prosimians. If you have any questions, just make a response video or post in the comments section, and hopefully I'll be able to answer your questions in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.